Local Nation is a free resource for any business that wants to connect with local buyers for next to nothing using revolutionary online tools and methods. Welcome to Local Nation, because where you are is where it's at. G'day, I'm Julian Siri Good, your host of Local Knowledge, local internet marketing for small business. Today's session is all about distraction-free writing using WordPress 2.7. We'll have some background on distraction free writing tools and techniques in this post and then we'll finish up by showing you how to do this in WordPress 2.7. As always, leave us your questions and comments on localnation.com. That's our blog and we look forward to hearing from you. Hope you enjoy today's session. So here we have it, distraction free writing using WordPress 2.7. How did this all get started? Well. In the beginning, there was too much, too much. We were inundated with distracting information, right? On a computer, email, dinging in the background, constant windows popping up, instant messages windows coming on, 10 different windows from different applications and browsers open, and streaming feeds from Twitter, ding, dong, ding, driving you crazy. What was the net effect of all that? Um, distraction, lack of work. The solution was to remove the distractions. Software applications were created specifically that were really just a blank screen. You didn't see anything else. Just like right now you're looking at a presentation, all you see is a few words on the page. There was no instant messenger, no email, no sounds. You just had the blank screen. It was you and your blinking cursor. So, no more, no more distractions. The benefit, obviously, is you get more work done. At least that's the idea. Obviously, it doesn't always work, but it does often help. And that means that you get more frequent website updates, which lead to better local search engine rankings. Why? All search engines love websites if they're updated frequently. So if there's some tool or trick we can use that lets us get more writing done more frequently, that's going to help improve our local search engine rankings. This is going to increase leads and ultimately sales for you. All right, so now that we've talked about that, now we're going to dive in and look at a tool just to give you an example. So right now, we're looking at an application that's one of these uh, tools used for distraction-free writing. This one is called writer.app. Find it on the internet, just do a search for that and you'll find it. It's a pretty good example. Some of them are even more obvious, like it's just a totally black screen with a white blinking cursor. This one has some different features. Actually, you can take a slider bar here on the right and drag it and it will eventually make the entire background like your desktop fade away. So now all I've got is just my writing and I can just type to my heart's content, right? Now, one way you could basically get your content all created here is to write everything up and then simply do a copy and paste. You know, you'd highlight your text, you could do a control C on a Windows P PC or you could you you could go to your file menu right up here and you could say or your edit menu and say copy right and then you could just go over to your word processor and excuse me go over to WordPress and paste that information in all right so that's one workflow that you could use a program like writer.app and I'm going to show you a couple more in just a second or tell you about them quickly and then we're going to dive into WordPress and show you how it works within there and I'm going to show you both the method where we cut and paste the text from an application into WordPress and we'll also show you how to do distraction free writing with WordPress not using any other tools okay so we're going to get to that demo in just a minute Here's another tool that you can use for distraction-free writing. If you're on a Mac, try Write Room. It's $24.95. It's available from Hogbay Software. This one's a beauty. If you're on a Windows PC, as the majority of the world is, uh, I got a great tip via my blog at one point from a user saying, I use WriteMonkey for my distraction-free writing, or full screen editor, as these are called. So WriteMonkey for Windows. And you can get that at pomeranka.com slash WriteMonkey. Just do a search in Google for WriteMonkey, and you'll find it okay two more beautiful tools now we talked about you know using these kinds of tools first and then copying and pasting your text into WordPress so let's just make this real for a second and um, and kind of use an example um, and then go into WordPress so 
here's a website this is a client of mine in Savannah Georgia a restaurant and we're using WordPress as a content management system to power their regular website so it has all the website features you'd expect but we're also taking advantage of the fact that WordPress is a blogging tool which means it's easy for the actual restaurant owner and his staff to use the blog section of WordPress to frequently update their site so this is a regular home page but you'll notice that I have a menu item here that says specials and happenings that's actually the blog and we have a call out or a call to action on the home page saying the same thing so I'll go ahead and click on that and open it up and sure enough you see that this restaurant is blogging their nightly specials I'm gonna go ahead and copy this text right from their nightly specials from February 24th by the way if you're in Savannah two fantastic restaurants and I can speak from experience from working with my friend here um, Il Pasticcio Savannah fantastic Italian food ready to one of the 10 best Italian food restaurants in all of the US how's that for a recommendation they also opened a new restaurant restaurant recently called Bull, Bull Street Chop House a New York style chop house just amazing so anyway, um, that was a free commercial. I just did that because Pino is a fantastic guy. And um, like every business, all of our small businesses, we're all struggling for, for customers. So if you happen to be around, go and see them. Uh, so I've copied that text, and now I've bopped over to WordPress. All right? And while I'm in WordPress, I'm going to go ahead in and uh, make a new post. So I'm going to click on Add New. If you don't recognize the layout right now, by the way, I'm using WordPress 2.7. That's the latest edition. And this is where... I'm just going to pretend I'm Pino or one of his restaurant workers right now. To, uh, uh, specials tonight. All right. And I could just start typing in all the various information about the specials. If I had used Right Monkey or Right Room and I'd written, written everything up in there, I had copied that information. Now I could just paste it right in here. All right, so that's the information I, I copied off of the Il Pasticcio website, and now I've pasted it into my uh, WordPress post. Beautiful. Voila, I'm ready to go. Um, and I've accomplished my goal of using my distraction-free tools to make writing faster. Okay? Now, what I want to show you at this point is how to do something similar in WordPress. There's this great little button I'm pointing at right now to toggle full screen mode on. So I'm going to click that. Look what happens. All the extraneous information in WordPress that we don't need right now goes away. Right? I'm just looking at my text. I'm looking at my formatting controls and I can get my post done this way. Now there's a reason I like to do this in WordPress rather than using a tool like WriteMonkey or WriteRoom. So this is my pitch to just stay in WordPress and do the whole thing. When on the on the con side, the negative sign, we're not going to get rid of our desktop icons and we're not going to get rid of our tools like AIM with instant messages popping up. You can turn those off manually of course, but this at least gives you a nice clean screen, which I think is is half the battle. So we've done that, and we can type everything in. When we do our formatting, and if we were adding in links, like you know, if I wanted to click on something right now, right, and then make a link, a hyperlink to another part of my website or somebody else's website, or if I simply wanted to do formatting like italics, or if I wanted to make a list, I could highlight the text and I could use a you know a bulleted list. I could do all that stuff and then I'd be finished. Whereas when you're using a full screen editor like Writeroom, they don't have any formatting controls. And even if they even the ones that do don't give you output generally in HTML, which means it's not going to really work for you here. Which is why it's really kind of nice just to use WordPress and it also is just streamlined, right? You're just in the tool. When you're done with the edits, you just hit the toggle full screen mode button again. We're back. We're looking at a post. You can finish off by adding in tags. That'll help you with search engine optimization. So I might type in Savannah restaurants, um, dining special, anything that seems like a good search term. Hit a blog category, and then I can hit my publish button, and I'm done. That's how to use a little-known feature, the full screen, the toggle full screen mode in WordPress to kind of mimic a distraction-free writing process. And you've also seen another way of doing it, which is if we just copy text from our full screen editor and pasted it in here, we can kind of do the same thing in a couple of steps. I hope you enjoyed this tip today and this screencast on local knowledge. Please stop back and see us again. Stop by our blog at localnation.com. Leave us your comments and questions, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again. You take care.